That's stupid. Everything's political. No, it isn't. Just because you're incapable of self-reflection and you shove politics and everything you say and do, and this causes you to project political motivations onto everyone else, and you're now incapable of seeing things as they are, and feel the need to inject your bias into everything and make everything about your pet issues through eisegesis, that doesn't mean everything is meant to be viewed through an ideological lens. Not everything is an allegory for the struggles of the proletariat, or the intersection of race and justice, or whatever bullshit your English professor told you. Just because all you have is a hammer, that doesn't mean everything is a nail. LOL, you're dumb. When we say everything is political, that just means all media is a product of the cultures that produce it, and it can't be separated from that context. Media encompasses all human experience, and so do politics, therefore all media is political. First of all, that's not the same as saying everything is political, because the word political has a dictionary definition which you are conveniently ignoring. Politics don't encompass all human experience, and only an idiot would say it does. That or a totalitarian who thinks all art which doesn't support their party is dangerous. Second, even if that's all it meant, maybe you should stop saying everything is political as a rhetorical cudgel to shut down criticisms of propaganda disguised as entertainment, or media being cynically redesigned to insincerely appeal to the current socio-political climate for no reason other than it's what some studio executive thinks will get stupid people who seek validation from pop culture to buy tickets and merchandise, because that's clearly not what's being argued, you disingenuous weasel. Oh look, the evil corporation who runs sweatshops in China changed their icon on Twitter to the pride flag. Let's buy some sneakers. You're the exact type of person this movie was made for. A stupid consumerist moron who thinks they're smarter than they really are because they read the New York Times.